أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسول رول الأمر منكم and that a reminder always from myself that I'm nothing and that we took a path to be nothing and that Allah Zawajal's oceans of rahmah, mercy to dress us and bless us. And this holy night and these tajallis and realities we ask that Allah Zawajal take us to the city of knowledges, that knowledge is power, that knowledge is power for the soul, its identity, its nobility, its honour is the power and the knowledge that the soul is asking to be dressed by. These are the medallions for the soul. Our life is to seek knowledge. Ya Rabbi Zidna ilm, ilma laduni wa hikmati bi salihin. They're asking Ya Rabbi from the ilma laduni, not, not the dunya knowledge <coughs> at only the level of sharia but the, the level of tariqah. We're now a path, a turuq towards that center and towards that reality. It described the night before and we have to keep saying because sometimes most times there are more people interested in teaching than learning. And before you tell people that you have two ears and one mouth so that they understood Allah gave very clear understanding, listen more than what you speak. Take a way in which you're silent and observe. Come like a, a sponge wanting to absorb a cup that's empty, not a sponge that's full that want to spread its incorrect understanding everywhere and a cup that overfilled that you can't pour anything into it and literally the shaykhs will stop speaking. And this not only for people sitting here but every interaction now on the internet when a shaykh reaches out to you and start to text and comment back, you're in danger. Because you think that you're far away but via that medium he's right in your presence. And how you interact with him is going to be everything under the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad So it's as difficult as if you were to come to the physical presence for people because they feel heedless. Now the, the, the typing is like the talking. They text and type a lot, copy and paste a lot of information of which probably 90% of it they don't understand or know. And they're too busy trying to spread a knowledge or spread information and not busy enough trying to absorb a reality in which you can just you know say, Wa Raykul Salaam but attend the associations to absorb to really understand with your heart that what is this shaykh talking about? These are not the, the, the people of external knowledge but every word must have a very deep reality and are you able to grasp that reality? <coughs> Otherwise you're too busy trying to, to type or to talk. Now it's the analogy of typing took over sitting and, and talking in front of somebody. Where in personal relation and physical proximity you used to talk a lot. So then people learned, okay I should be quiet but now the, the sickness is type a lot. That as soon as they interact with you they're typing all the time, posting information that's not relevant that they should be absorbing at that stage. So then the teachings go right over the head and they didn't pick it up. So until you take a point in which, Ya Rabbi I know nothing, ana abdukul ajis wa da'if wa miskeen wa zalim wa ja'al and we make ourselves and all our life attempted to be like the nay. One of the brothers trying to learn how to play the nay says, it's very difficult, it's impossible you have to play this way instead of this way and, but our life is about being a nay. They cut us from the field, they took us then they started to clean us. And the cleaning is to take all the garbage outside of the nay. 
So just imagine what type of cleaning that was, where somebody, you know, taking all your garbage out onto your hollow. Our, our life was to be that hollow tool. If we reach a point of sincerity and hollowness, then Allah will make it to be a tool for Sayyidina Muhammad So when the nay comes in front of you, don't worry about what the nay, the color, the you know, the jubba shiny, not shiny, that's not important. What's important is who's blowing through that nay, who's making that sound to appear for you. Don't be fixated or he doesn't know this or he doesn't like this or he's like that or like this because we try to look at we're at the world through our eyes and try to understand through our eyes and size people, they're like this, they're like that, they're a little dark, they're a little light, they're a little tall, they're a little bit short. But when you're nothing and say, I'm nothing, the, the real miracle is not the nay but what's now being conveyed to. What, what is the information coming out and who is it coming from? If it's Muhammadan reality, it's coming from Prophet From Atiyullah wa Atiya Rasul to the hearts of Ulul Am. And this Ulul Am they're sending their signal out. So then everyone trained to just be the nay for them, just a tool for them so that the message comes and and then the message is being propagated. So our life was about that reality. So then the way was based on the information coming out and what is the reality of that information, a heavy level of information. So we wrote and we took a life in which to write the information. As we write it will dress our soul because as you write your angels write, as your angels write it changes entirely the destiny of that soul. It makes that soul to be a noble soul, a custodian of Allah's heavenly haqqaiqs. From that reality when they talk the night before they describe the atom as a circle and that the reality of that circle, the outer knowledge is the sharia that is all-encompassing. The radius into the center was our path, find a way to the center of the atom. The atom in our life it's high. So to understand how complicated the reality is that we have a form that dies but we have molecules and atoms their source is high. They don't die. The power of that atom is Qayyum, it's self-sustained by the Creator. You cannot shut the power of somebody's atoms off, I can shut your body off but your atoms no way. So the, the duplexity of now what's happening, you're in a form that dies but actually your form is made of something that can never die. Just you think, <laughs> right? There's a physical, it dies but in reality no, all the atoms of that form, just the form of it may perish to the eye but the atoms of that form are high, they're alive. They found the atoms, scientists, this, this thing is moving and with what a power that it's qayyum, they don't understand the source of its power, that with what speed these electrons move. At an immense speed where now they found they vanish, then they come back. They don't know where it went when it vanished and what now has been dressed by it when it reappeared. All happening within us, within everything. So the fana is happening at every moment, the baqa is happening at every moment. At every moment our being, our atoms, our electrons are annihilating, going. And every moment they're coming back with a different dress. Our life is to move to that center, to understand the reality of that center. That center is the center of power, that center is from the secrets of who. But that nucleus 
its source and its engine is in the reality of who? Qul who? So it means the all of Qur'an is a power of Allah the only surah that deals with nothing other than sincerity, Surat Al-Ikhlas. Qul huwa, just the Qul huwa of the Qur'an in Majeed to the Lamb, Allah's Qul is speaking to someone. Qul is Allah's Qudra and Might, awful Qur'an and Majeed is moving on to the Lamb, to the tongue of Allah the tongue that He created to speak for Him eternally. And that's what Prophet said, Hadith al Jabbar, I was a Rasul, I was a Rasul. Before Adam was between clay and water, teaching people, my soul has been created to talk for Allah. Didn't find me in the middle of the desert, He created me for this reality. I've been created to speak for Allah eternally, that all angels speak to Prophet all prophets speak to Prophet everything in creation speaks to Sayyidina Muhammad's reality and nobody reaches Allah Allah's hidden, the hidden treasure, wanting to be known but didn't say, I am known. Wanting to be known by who? By Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah says, not to my majesty to talk to me except behind parda. Means you reach a hut, a hut and a, and a station and it stops and you don't pass that station. So the Prophets of the great Prophets, Nabi Musa Kalimullah, he reached the hut. He reached a parda, Ya Rabbi want to see you. I'm talking, my heart knows because marifa, I want to see you. I want to see who am I talking to? Allah says, because Allah is in the heart of Prophet speaking now through Muhammadun Rasulullah that you can't see me, that's why not the Sharif. It says, ask Nabi Musa who he saw, who you saw. I want to see you, so first look to my mountain. If the mountain stood on that vision, we talk after. And all awliya come and describe that Prophet immediately appeared in his soul, 124,000 Prophets and Nabi Musa died. So, hush, out, means everything of his being was immediately annihilated, completely brought to nothing when he brought himself back into his reality, ana awwal al-Muslim is what he witnessed of Sayyidina Muhammad He understood his risala is nothing under the risala of Sayyidina Muhammad he's just merely an agent. And he met the one whom has been created to speak for Allah anciently. At that point became and gave his shahada. I am a Muslim, means I've taken the name and my life now dedicated to where the two rivers meet. So two rivers is Lam Alaf where La ilaha illallah and then La ilaha illallah on this side Muhammad Rasulullah but when they come together Allah's La ilaha goes behind and Muhammadun Rasulullah comes in front. These two rivers where Sayyidina Musa said, I will not stop until I reach this rea reality of La ilaha Muhammad Rasulullah So where the two rivers meet is here. So in La ilaha illallah, hey wow. 
Hey, wow. The next letter is what? Muhammad Rasulullah Mim. That's what? Allah Hum. Allah Hum. Allah Hum. When you say Allah Humma is you're saying Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad That's why Allah said, don't want your du'a just to say Allah. Because the tariq al-adab, why are you saying just, oh Allah, 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 what happened to your Rasul? Why are you talking to me without Sayyidina Muhammad So as soon as you say Allah Hum. So when Nabi Musa said, once I want where this hey and Muhammad Rasulullah are coming together in this who? Because hey wa meem, the hey is the hidayat pointing to Allah's beloved. Because the wow separates the hey, it goes hey wa meem, Allah's hidayat and love is on this meem. And this meem will unfold all realities of creation known as Muhammadun Rasulullah So then in the Lamalif where this becomes the La illallah, this is what? If you cut off the top of that, the hey, right? You cut this top off, this is another way of writing hey. And the hey when you write it this way has a secret wow inside, it's self-contained who? Hay always has wow, it carries it, right? You put the hay like the cave, looks like a cave, the hay like this is like a cave, has little wow inside of it. Means you cannot come to hidayat without this wadu, there's no hidayat without love. If you think you're guided and you're angry crazy person, no you're not guided. Allah's hidayat has to come with this wadu, has to be based on muhabbat. That hay is the secret of this joining. Wallahi illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah comes together wasallam. it's the who, the who. So there's a who on La illallah. So the hand of the sword is a who. So then this Zulfikar is the sword of Sayyidina Muhammad He gave this knowledges and reality to Imam Ali saying that, I am the city of this entire reality. And you're Babahu. And that's why then he presented his Lam Ali to Imam Ali. He presented his Zulfiqar saying that, I am the city of all marifah where every Prophet wanted to know a reality. And I give you its sword because now you are from the who man. You'll carry the who and the secret of La illallah. Muhammadun Rasulullah, you'll be its custodian and they have to come through your sword to enter into that city. So the real who people, the real people of who then they are been given a Zulfiqar. They've been given a Zulfiqar from Imam Ali salam that you are from the people of the who, you are people of that reality. Your life is about putting the Zulfiqar out and showing people that you want to come to the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah wasallam. don't come with your head. Just follow, follow to see your guidance. Now look with all their heads they couldn't determine when a moon was coming and SubhanAllah it was visible. There's computers, there's, uh, there's graphic, there's satellite dishes, everything you can imagine and they still can't find the moon. What, how you think they're going to find their Lord? And they talk on Allah's behalf, oh Allah wants this, Allah says this, Allah says this. You're talking about Allah you couldn't find the moon. Better you find and have whole sobats and, and, and talks about how to identify a moon. 
Then why Allah want to show? Look what these people talking. First you have to know yourself to know your Lord. These are the people of haqqaiq that their hearts are shining, their realities are shining within their heart. Their whole purpose is to bring out that sword and say that, leave your head behind. So they're wrong, they do this wrong, they do that, yeah, yeah this is a Zulfiqar on your head. If you're going to use your head you're most likely going to run from him. Or on the internet this is spiritual, so just not anybody taking anybody's head off. This is for the person not to use their mind. Sounds like they don't know what they're doing, I think like their dinner is late, oh think like this, like this, oh this is sound is too loud, this like this. All these was was and complaints make people to run. This teaching that Imam Ali Salam and all Sahabi Kiram are saying is that, that we didn't come to Prophet with our head, we came with our heart. So the first zikr of every tariqah was, La ilaha illallah, La to your head, Ilaha to the right, Illallah into the heart, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. The first awrat the shaykh gives is, take this energy, come to your head, the body has lam alif, your forehead is a lam alif, the la, don't use the head. Ilaha illallah, that the power of illallah come into the heart. So this is the opening of the soul. If the soul is going to open it has to understand, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. Then they take Muhammadun Rasul Allah, Muhammadun Rasul Allah. So that the power of Muhammad come and then that's a whole different studying of the reality of these two triangles. So Muhammadun to the right, Rasul onto the left because illallah and Rasul Allah all onto the heart. And then Allah is the only power to bring down the devils from all the bad desires and everything that happening upon the body. That the love of Allah and belief in the oneness destroys everything. Then the reality of Allah and la manaf will begin to open. If you really want to seek Allah control your lower body, control the anger, control the desires, control all the badness. With the deen of Allah if Allah find acceptance in moving towards Allah He begin to open the secret of the reflection. The reflection for the soul, for the reality of Allah is la ilaha la malik. When Allah wants to show you the secret of Allah He guides you to the Sirat al-Lam Jalala, the la malik. That la malik is the Zulfiqar and the ones holding the Zulfiqar are the people of who? We pray that Allah open more and more understanding for us. It's a bit deep, that's no problem. Just we keep reciting, keep playing it, keep watching it and that Allah give an understanding within the soul to comprehend it. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel. Your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.